Alright guys, SFRTA here with me is... Um, at my home layout, um, I wasn't really doing, expecting to do another video so soon, but I ended up having some extra time on my hands and I ended up getting some more sitted people at ready to roll and I went to Depot Hobby Shop trying to look for sitting people but I couldn't find them there but I ended up buying a new tri-rail cab car we're going to be doing a product review on that as well um, and uh, Amtrak Lover Zero 2 is going to be doing it with me because he is one of the closest friends I've ever had and I always enjoy vid doing videos with my uh, bros at uh, Team Amtrak so we're going to be doing a video uh, first I'm going to be doing this coach car, I'm going to be opening it up and everything. Um, I already showed you how to open up a car, so I'm not going to do a video on that. Um, Unfortunately, you said that you were going to do it on the cab car. Not the yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I was going to do a video on the cab car, and I was going to show them the coach car that I'm going to be working on as well. So, uh, this, this is what I'm working on. I'm going to be putting people inside this. I gotta, like I showed in the other videos, I have to take the screws out and open the shell up. So that's, uh, pretty, uh, hard to do. But, I know how to do it. And if you guys have any questions at all of how to do it, Feel free to drop a question in the chat box. Chat box. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. That's what we're here for. Um, that's why one of the reasons why we have Team Amtrak is because a lot of these young guys they don't know how to do certain stuff like change couplers out or something. So we have this group so they can come here and ask us questions. Me and Amtrak fanatic, and we answer their questions and. Um, it's a little bit more than that, you know, um, we, uh, the thing is here at Team Amtrak, I consider, we consider everybody in our group bros. Um, like I said, we are really close friends, and, uh, that is what we're all about. Uh, so, let's get started with the product review. The, the, um, before I do, though. Uh, the seated people, it's a, I think the guy said it was like a 36 pack, 32, something like that. It's, it's a bulk pack from Pricer that you can get. It's very pricey. It's like 40 bucks for 30 people seated, but they're pre-painted and everything. Little pricey, but it's worth it. Um, but it's the only pack out there, really, that I've seen where all the people are just seated. They don't have standing people. They're all, they're all seated, period. They're ready to go into the passenger car. You don't have to modify them or anything. Yeah, um, yeah so it's like a 32, 34 pack. All of them are seated. Uh, you don't have to modify them or anything because they're all seated. They're all ready to go into the passenger car. You don't have to do anything to them, really. You just put them in. So, doing this car is going to be very easy. I might have some difficulty with it because of the uh, lighting kit. Other than that, actually putting the people in, uh, that will be easy to do. So, I'll get that car done today. Um... Dining car is done. Um, this will be in the fair. It's lighted and everything. It has people in it. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get this Bombardier car out. And 
I will show you the features and everything with the coach with the coach and cab car of the uh, tri rail series from Atherton run they did. Okay. I forgot to also show you the features of the coach cars. They're pretty much the same. They have grab iron, same detail as the cab car. Except they don't have the horns and the bell and the rear end detail of the of the uh Cab car, and the marker lights and everything. So that's the only difference between the coach and the cab car. Pretty much the same, just the cab car has horn and the bell on it. Okay. All right, I'm ready for the unboxing of this car because it's brand new. Just got it. And <laughs> cool. That was a fail. I'm, I'm no, 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 no. You did a good job, bro. You did a good job. Alright. We're going to open this car up. So, the, it has foam little foam stuff in there to protect the car. Very easy to open the box. Um, part number is ATH25538 Tri-Rail Bombardier Control Car 503. Um, the only thing is these cars are almost 50 bucks. With tax they're like 50 something. But Considering the detail that Atherton puts into their equipment, I think they're worth that. They're not, they're worth more than 30 bucks. Because, I mean, Atherton does a really good job on these cars. I have, uh, I have cars from different runs in the past they've done. Like, I have like five, 1,005. I have a bunch of coaches and cab car, well, Cab cars, not so much. Uh, coach cars, I have plenty of. But um, now with this car, I have plenty of uh, cab cars. Um, but if you guys are looking into making a tri rail set, my advice do it now because these cars do go out of stock like that. Because they're very popular, they're very rare. Um, I I know down here in South Florida, they're very popular to get. I know a lot of people who are looking for tri rail cars. I I I know um, there's a few people I know in my group that I'm hosting with my. Bro, uh, Amtrak fanatic uh, that are looking for tri rail. So, so if they're watching this video, get the cars now because they're gonna go very quickly. I for obvious reasons. Yeah, because the, a lot of people do like tri rail and they they sell quickly down here in the uh, hobby shops down here. They sell pretty quickly, so yeah. If you are gonna get them, get them now. Um, I have seen engines still for sale. I think you can still order them online. Uh, you can get them at hobby shops. I know Ready to Roll still has plenty of these, the uh, F59s. Um, they also sell custom painted F40 PHs like 807, 809, the F40 PH 2Cs. I have seen those. Uh, there's a guy that does work for the hobby shop in Miami ready to roll. 
that custom makes these F40s and sells them in the hobby shop. Um, so if you guys are looking for F40 tri-rail, F59s, they're there. Go get them. Don't wait. Just go. Uh, so let's open this tri-rail cab control car. The packaging is very secure and snug. What I'm doing to lift it up, I'll show you right here. I just lift up like that. Alright. So yeah, I just lift up like that. They have these protective foam pads in here to protect the car. This is a $50 car, so it better have good packaging. I know you guys would agree with me. And it does. Um, here's the car. has an interior, but no lighting. Um... I'm going to try to figure that out so I can put people in, but um, it's very hard to light this car up. I've heard of people doing it, but it's very hard. The only thing that's inaccurate, this side would not have a window. It would only be this side for the 503. The 503 is an older car, and they don't have that and there would be three lights right here and here and then you would have the ditch lights but I'm not I mean I could modify it and paint over the window but I don't think that'll look too good if I do that paint over that and I kind of like it like it is it's really beautiful so you know what they say if it ain't broken don't fix it so Yes, it's a little inaccurate, but I like it. So I'm going to keep it as is. It's very detailed. Like I said, there is an interior in here. And did an outstanding job on the car. Accurate paint scheme. I have to change these couplers out. They're the old McHenry's. These are not good. They're very crappy couplers, but I have KD couplers to put in. Not that crappy. Uh, yeah. So yeah, these are going to be changed out to the KD couplers, which are a lot better than the McHenry couplers. That's what they use on the on this car is the uh, McHenry couplers but like I said they're not really that great so I'm going to change them out I do have couplers to change them out with I'm going to use the number 148 KD couplers on them I'm going to change them out with that I have plenty of them for that car so I'm going to get that done today and I'm also going to get the coach car right there and uh, put people inside it and that car will be done um, uh, you probably noticed I have a Broadway limited AC 6000 I have three of them there's one right there and right there and there's another one in the box 630651 and I have 5001 are the road numbers that I have they're sound decoded DCC and they are beautiful. I, I absolutely love them. Um, very, very good locomotives. What was that? How long were you on Catmart, huh? Well, a lot of people have been saying that they noticed, oh, you got an AC6000, how many do you have? And I count them three, so to make it easy, so I don't have to respond to millions of questions about my AC6000s, I'm just Another mentioning it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, they're not for sale. <laughs> um, none of the stuff in my videos are for sale. Um, 
I, I I do have some Bachman Spectrum Amphlete ones that I am getting rid of, but I already have a buyer for them. Um, that's if he gets down here and picks them up. So, yeah, but he will eventually. Um, so, other than that, I don't really have anything for sale. Um, um, but yeah, I do have a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, I have this dining car. Excuse the mess. I know I have lack of at, of organization pro of skills. I do have a lack of organization skills, which I'm going to have to work on. I guarantee you, all this crap will be cleaned off after I end the video. I'm not going to do it now, but I will clean it up. I promise you, I know it. it is not becoming of this layout with all this junk on board, and I will clean it up. Alright, so I hope you enjoy that. Before I go, you know, they have grab irons on these. And one thing I've always noticed with these cars, they have these disc brakes, and they're absolutely beautiful. Like I said, uh, they do a good job on these... Uh, on these cab cars. I'm not going to be weathering it at all. I'm a big sucker for tri-rail. I love tri-rail and Amtrak. I have a big fleet of Amtrak and tri-rail. I'm in love with both of them. Very much so. I, I do like CSX but Amtrak and tri-rail I have a weak spot for them. Every time I see a P42 or a, a, a tri-rail F40PH or a cab car. I'm like, I want it, I want it, I want it. I have to con you know, control myself, but sometimes I can't and I end up coming home with, with a new car or sometimes a locomotive. Um, that's actually what happened with 825. I wasn't planning... Well, actually, I was planning on getting it, but uh, my dad wasn't expecting me to get 825 so he found out the hard way that I got another engine he wasn't too happy but we're not gonna alright guys SFRTA here um, I just finished putting the people in I'm going to put the shell back on uh, right now I'm not gonna show you that uh, but this car is done uh, the part putting the amp or the people into the amp fleets is done. I have to decal the cars and I'm going to decal the cars with the decals right there and there and then that will be done. I'll do another video of the cars fully done with the decals and everything when that's done. So this really isn't the last video for the project. The project still is underway. But the part putting the people into the Amfleet is done. So, they're mostly done. I just need to decal them and then they're done. And I have seven cars that I have to decal, but now they have people in them, so that part is done. Actually, no. I actually already have two cars that are decaled. So, I only really have... five cars to do so it's not that bad um so yeah that's what I have to do I have to decal the cars but the bulk of the project is done so yeah go there so yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys um 
So, uh, model railroading is definitely a passion of mine, and it should. And if you are a model railroader, it definitely should be a passion with you. I know Amtrak lover zero two will say the same thing that model railroading is an awesome hobby, and we have a really good hobby. It's very expensive, but it's worth it. So I hope you, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This is SFRTA and Amtrak lover zero two out.